Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about Pat McGrath Labs. I am going to demonstrate all the products that I have. Well, I can only demonstrate one of the eyeshadow palettes. And I have this heavy stack of Mothership palettes. I have four of the Mothership palettes. I have two mini palettes and then one of the six pans. I'm going to let you know what I think about the products that I've tried from this brand. Is it worth it or not? If you are new, please subscribe. I upload four videos a week. I'm currently on a no buy. So these are products that I've had for a while, things that purchased before my no buy. And I have done several other one brand looks. I did Mac Cosmetics, Charlotte Tilbury, and I did a drugstore one that was mostly Elf and Wet and Wild. If you like these type of videos, check out the makeup looks playlist where you can find more. Let us know what you think about this brand because I know a lot of people like it, um, but a lot of people do think that particularly the eyeshadows are perhaps overrated. So yeah, let's just get into this video. All right, so I have four of the larger Mothership palettes. This is Moonlit Seduction. This is the one I want to film a look with today. Um, I have done looks with, I think, most of the other palettes. This is Bronze Seduction. And this one, let's see, Divine Rose 2. And then, which one is this? Oh yeah, Sublime. This is my first one. This is the first product in general I'd ever tried from Pat McGrath. So let's just do a look with Moonlit Seduction. As I give you my thoughts, I'm going to start with this shade in the crease. And I'm wearing my MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Oh, I just realized I never peeled this off. Ooh, that's satisfying. <laughs> All right, let's put that aside. So my thoughts on the eyeshadows from Pat McGrath are basically, I really, really like them, but my number one recommendation is to get these palettes on sale because they do sales on the Pat McGrath website fairly often. Now, depends what country you live in, of course, but the larger palettes, I think they're 129 now. And that's a lot of money. You do get this luxurious packaging though, which is pretty like heavy, like beautiful lacquer packaging. There aren't many brands where you're getting this level of packaging, if any. Um, I mean, even some of the more expensive brands, you know, Tom Ford and all that, they have nice packaging, but personally, I don't think any brand has anything that compares to Pat McGrath, particularly the eyeshadow palettes. I don't necessarily think that everything else from the brand has that amazing packaging, but you're not paying for packaging. But I'm just saying it is clearly part of the cost in these eyeshadow palettes because, I mean, this is like, this is heavy. <laughs> um, I think the quality of the eyeshadows is really, really good. I do. I think that, you know, particularly these sparkly shades over here, but even the mattes are really nice to work with. Now, as far as duochromes, multichromes, amazing shadows, yes, you can absolutely get that from indie brands. And I have products from indie brands. I've got Cleona shadows that are absolutely amazing. Um, Odin's Eye has some really amazing duochromes and multichromes. So I think nowadays this is not particularly unique, but I really do like them and I think they are good. So my number one recommendation is see if you can wait for a sale on her website because I've gotten most of my palettes anywhere from 35% to 40% off. For the shimmers, I want to layer those three there. And definitely these are ones that you either want to use your finger to apply these shimmers um, or a wet brush. So let's see. That is very, very pretty. So I really love Moonlit Seduction. I think it's amazing. I did wait to get it on sale though. I think I got it on sale last year for, I think this was 40% off, which is pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to go with this shade, the one in the corner. And I'm excited to talk about the rest of the products. I don't have her foundation, but I have tried it in a sample. 
I didn't like it. I have pretty normal skin and it broke down terribly throughout the day. Um, so I never bought it and I was glad I tried the sample because it really didn't work out for my skin type. So that's kind of interesting, but I know a lot of people really like her foundation. I do have the concealer, the powder, blush, and lip products that I'm going to be talking about in this video. Yeah, this shade is absolutely beautiful. Lovely. That, I mean, the shift on that is really cool. Yeah, I mean, another brand that has really good duochromes and multi-chromes, I think, is Unearthly Cosmetics. I have two different palettes from them, and I like that formula quite a bit. So, I mean, I think it just depends what you're looking for. But personally, I'm definitely enjoying this eye look. So I'm going to blend this out a bit, and I'll be back. All right, eye look is done, and I really do love this one. And this may be becoming my favorite of the Mothership palettes. So I'll list the other products that I'm wearing. Like I said, I've tried the Pat McGrath foundation. I didn't really like it, but I do have these two complexion products and I have some thoughts. So this is the concealer. I have the shade L3. This is like a glass packaging. This is really nice. The formula is really good. I really enjoy this concealer. I'll go ahead and tell you that this is called the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder shade medium this does not work on my under eyes you guys my concealer creases in like three seconds it's terrible for the under eyes luckily this i got on major sale it was 50 percent off thank goodness because this to me is basically like it's more of like a finishing powder i mean it works for setting my face but if you have oily skin i don't think this would be enough for setting the entire face this gives a nice finish. It really does. But the under eyes, if you have under eye lines like I do, good luck. Did not work for me at all. Um, the concealer is great though. I really like it. I do. And I did do a full face or no, not a full face. I did half drugstore, half high end face. And I used this on one side. Um, I'm pretty sure I used this one. I think I did. Um, and a drugstore concealer on the other side, but this one's really good. I like it. I got that on sale too. I did. Like I said, this is a brand I really try to buy things on sale from because they tend to have a lot of good deals on their website. I mean, or you can also get 20% off if you're Rouge at Sephora during VIB sales, which I'm not Rouge anymore, by the way. I'm so proud of myself. I was on a low buy last year. And I'm on a, well, currently I'm on a no buy. Um, I did not hit Rouge last year at Sephora. That makes me pretty happy. I'm going to set my face with this powder, but then I'm going to set my under eyes with my uh, Beauty Bakery powder, which works on my under eyes. It's a very thin powder. Um, as you can see, like, I don't know if you can tell, I'm like rubbing this in there a lot. There isn't that much on the brush. It's a very thin powder. I do. I mean, I like this for setting my face and I've also used it for finishing powder, but it just, it's marketed for the under eyes and it does not work on my under eyes. Okay. I put on bronzer and let's talk about blush. I do have one of the blushes. This is the shade Love Struck. I do have to say the whole marketing of the brand, I really do like. I think it's funny. So it says on here, Blush without caution, fabulous flirtations, and sexquisite seductions may result with prolonged use. I mean, I like that. I think it's kind of cool. And on here it says something funny too. I think it says, mothership, yeah, use without caution, shade throwing and eye ecstasy. I don't know. I think it's cool. And the packaging is just stunning. It really, really is. So this is the shade Love Struck and it is a beautiful, beautiful color. I admit when I first bought this, I was not as wowed with it. It's kind of a dry formula, but I admit this is something that the more I've used, the more I really do enjoy this blush. And it's obviously very pigmented. I would love to buy um, 
one of the lighter shades like divine rose that one is really pretty and obviously she's like known for the whole you know divine rose is like a whole thing so i need to like tap some of this off i have a tissue sitting there because yeah this is this is a pigmented blush but i do think it's really pretty it really is so yeah this is something that the more i've used it i definitely enjoy it a lot more than when i first bought it my complaint though is you know i'm going to give you complaints if i have them this packaging i have a hard time opening this with this little button here you have to have your finger like right in the center and honestly sometimes when i'm in a hurry and don't have a lot of time on my hands i don't really have time to be like messing with packaging so you know that's kind of a petty thing, but you know, when you're using really expensive products and you spent a lot of money on them, personally, I want them to be functional. I've never bought any of the Pat McGrath highlighters, but everyone says that, so all the palettes, this is the skin show shade. So all of these can double as highlighters. And of course, also some of her lighter shades. I know a lot of people have used these you know blush type shades like this one or this one as blush i've never done that i should try that but yes people say that these skin show shades are also supposed to be highlighters so let's do that i've actually never done that this will be a first oh wow oh my gosh wow that's and if you think about the price of the palette and that you're also getting items that you can technically use as blush or highlighter, I mean, that definitely increases the value of the palette, in my opinion. Is that, wow, oh my gosh, what have I been doing with my life not using this as highlighter? This almost has like a pink shift to it. Wow, I'm going to do some, I'm going to wait, I'm going to swatch some of these eyeshadows at the end, but oh my wow wow that's amazing so like i said the powder does work as finishing powder so this is a step i like to do to blend my blush bronzer yeah look how yeah see it's like super powdery there i don't know personally i'm really not impressed with this powder I mean, I like it for finishing powder and setting my face, but I mean, as you can tell, I think, well, at least I can tell, I do think it really helped blend all this together, but yeah, now it's just like, ah, okay, that's making a giant mess. So, okay. Oops. All right. I got a lot to clean up over here. This is quite the mess I'm making. Okay. Lip liner. I do love the Pat McGrath lip liners. I completely panned contour, um, loved that one for a brown color. And then I have this shade called Buff. So there it is right there. These are very long lasting lip liners. It's a really good formula. It's hard to talk while doing lip liner. Hold on. All right. I really like this shade. This formula is amazing. I would totally buy more lip liners from the brand. Absolutely. So this is the shade Buff. Again, got these on sale. So that's what I recommend. My other absolute favorite product from Pat McGrath Labs is the glosses. I have panned two full size and six of the minis. So these are $29 for the full size. And she's often had sets of minis. I don't know if those are currently available where you get like three different colors. You don't get a lot of product in these, especially compared to some other glosses. There's only 0.15 fluid ounces. That's not a whole lot. I mean, a lot of glosses are anywhere from like 0.2, maybe 0.3, but not a lot of product. But this formula is so amazing. There's so much shine. And even the ones that have sparkled don't feel gritty on the lips. So this is the shade Alien Jellic. And it's, oh my gosh, look at that. That is so beautiful. So let me go ahead and put this on. All right, so the glosses are stunning. 
and they're longer lasting than a lot of glosses I've tried. The shine is amazing. And even though a lot of them have a sparkle, you don't feel that. It's very comfortable on the lips. I mean, this is just, wow. So I need to finish the rest of my makeup. I need to do mascara. I have not tried the mascara, but the Dark Star Mascara has good reviews and I've wanted to try that. I need to do my brows and then I'm going to do some swatches of the eyeshadow palettes. All right, final look. I absolutely love it. I look stunning. This highlighter, oh my gosh, where have I been? I mean, wow, that looks amazing. I also put it on the inner corner lip gloss. So the short version of this is eyeshadow palettes to me, if you can get them on sale, are worth it. Full price, it's a lot. So I have a hard time justifying that. I actually do really like the blush. The lip liners, amazing. The glosses, probably my number one favorite. Um, and then also I do think that the concealer is fantastic. Um, this powder is the one thing that I absolutely am disappointed in and I think it's overhyped and I don't think it's that amazing. I think that I have a wet and wild powder that's better than this. So. That's unfortunate. Let's just have a little fun swatching some of these eyeshadows because who doesn't love a good swatch? I know I do. So I'm gonna swatch a few of the shades from, ooh, I didn't use this one. Oh, that one's really pretty. Okay, so here are three of the shades from the Moonlit Seduction. This one I did not use. This one I used in the crease and I didn't use this one either. They're just so smooth. I think they're great. I really, really do. Um, since we're doing this, let me just pull out some other ones. My first one, I've definitely done at least, I think I've done two looks with Sublime. This one is, wow, yeah, look at that shade. Oh, so pretty, the green. We have to swatch the green. It's the most, you know, famous shade. Wow, in that palette, absolutely. And then this one has some really nice satin shades that they're shimmery, but not too shimmery. I like these in the crease as well. So I, I would totally buy more of the large motherships at a discount, of course. Uh, Divine Rose 2. This one has this shade that I'm pretty sure is called VR Sextra Terrestrial. Yeah, this is the pink to green shifting. That one is absolutely gorgeous. Swatch a few more shades. Oh yeah, that one is amazing. I know I keep saying that. Very, very lovely. And then last, but certainly not least, is Bronze Seduction. This one has this amazing bright red. Yeah, that's that's a good red shimmer right there. Oh yeah, this one is really nice too. This is one of the, you know, special shades. I accidentally got some red in it. <laughs> All right, I also wanted to swatch this one here from Bronze Seduction because this is one of my favorite shades in that palette. It's just amazing. I've had fun swatching these palettes and doing this look. I really... I love this eye look. Moonlit Seduction may be my favorite of my Mothership palettes. And yeah, those are my thoughts. I mean, honestly, the bottom line is if you can get a good deal, I think everything is worth it except this powder. You know, I have a hard time spending $129 on an eyeshadow palette, which is why I don't do that. And I wait for a discount on these. But I mean, pretty awesome packaging. I mean, this is like a workout. Seriously, like, okay, I need to be careful. I'm going to drop those and hurt myself. So that is it for this video. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you think is worth it and not worth it from this brand. And if you want to see more makeup looks, check out the makeup looks playlist. And if you are new, please subscribe. And if you're interested in more exclusive content from me, check out my channel membership option. There is more information for that in the description box. And thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.